नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट मेक इन इंडिया कैंपेन एंड टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड एक्सपोर्ट ऑर्डर प्रोसेस ओके सो वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड स्टेप बाय स्टेप हाउ एक्सपोर्ट ऑर्डर कैन बी प्रोसीड ओके सो वी ऑल अवेयर दैट फॉर प्रोसेसिंग एनी ऑर्डर वी नीड ए गुड प्रोडक्ट व्हिच इज कॉम्पिटिटिव प्रोडक्ट efficient product and best service level product which can be demanded at the universally okay so uh, we need to understand so first step of this ex- order processing is ready the product goods and service okay so either you have a goods or services both can be export okay so first this thing need to be ready okay if you are exporting the goods any goods should be ready for that okay these are the step which is only the uh, all things are negotiated so, uh, chf trade forwarders are are appointed okay and now the step which uh, just like a goods we are going to dispatch from our factory okay so on this stage your product should be packed in such condition that can be export any time okay in the same way if you are exporting the service then your service should be uh, ready for the serve okay now the step second excise clearance okay if you are manufacturing product your own product means that you import the raw materials are you uh, domestically buy the raw materials then you are processing this raw material into the final product in such cases you need tip you need a permission from the cent- central excise okay so you'd have to take the clearance okay so now the, this process is quite easy before uh, before that uh, 2015 after gst uh, gst rules come then this process is very hard because it the commissioner of the central excise come our factory and, and seal the containers okay but now this process is uh, quite easy uh, this is the process is uh, the documentation can be uh, sent to the central excise they will sign and clear the shipment okay so all the paperwork you need to be done like a duty related applications paper works so okay, this need to be done at this point now third step is the pre shipment inspection so how you can do the pre shipment inspection when your goods are ready the specific certain type of the service agencies will inspect your goods okay it's depend on the uh, country on country in which you are going to export okay like you are exporting to african country then there is a different inspection agency your uh, put into the european country then a different different type of inspection agency need required if you are exporting the goods to the american countries then there are different kind of inspection required okay so it's depend on the buyer country okay so how this process will be done just you have a ready for the goods for dispatch and you need to appoint this inspection okay so inspection agency person Uh, visit your uh, location, factory location, and check out whether goods are uh, as per norms, as per rules and regulations. Or okay, so that uh, after that checking the verif- uh, verification process, the goods are inspected, and the service agency will provide you the certificate of uh, certificate of inspection. Okay, so this process here done, and now. for the step in which you need to appoint the clearance and forwarding agent okay so you can club this both activity clearing plus forwarding and you can do the separate this activity okay if you have a good trade forwarder who also work like a clearance okay so you need to understand the things just like you are exporting the goods and you have to check out whether the trade pricing for the any specific country like a you are just exporting the goods to the latin america okay and so in such condition you have to check out the trade rate from the different different trade forwarders 
so here you will appoint that uh, the base price uh, quotations received from the bread product okay and the base service level also you need to check out whether service is okay or not okay so this thing to be check out before pointing the bread product so we are appointing the freight forwarder one okay also need to you check the clearance cha pricing of the custom class okay so also you have to check that uh, any clearance cha one is giving the uh, 3500 for the custom class charges uh, and uh, another cha is giving the uh, 400 of uh, the shipment the clearance charges so you will choose the best one okay so in this way if we are the both are giving the same prices at the same uh, cha plus freight forwarder company then you will appoint the same then there is no different uh, coordination required between the cha and freight forwarding so you appoint the one single party for them okay on the uh, depend on the pricing and service level okay now if we talk about the step 5 so in step 5 dispatch of the goods to the place of shipment okay so here place of shipments mean that you need to goods this uh, you need to dispatch the goods from your factory to, to the uh, custom clearance point okay custom clearance point means that just like your shipment is a mode of air then you have to place this goods at the airport and shipment if your shipment in the sea case then you need to deliver this to the nearest icd at the for the custom clearance so this is the process where you, uh, your cha will appoint the transporter and they will carry this goods to the from your factory to the icd of the airport it's depend on the mode of shipment okay. now next point is uh, receive documents from freight forwarder agent okay so when you export uh, when you dispatch these goods these goods reach at the icd port means that custom clearance port where you need to your cha freight forwarder will present the document to the custom uh, level at the you can say this, uh, the commissioner and uh, officer you you present your document by the uh, present the document with ch and freight forwarder okay then they will check out the goods as per documentation or not after this process what will happen this goods this uh, this is document is uh, endorsed by the custom authorities okay so uh, there when this process done the shipping will generate okay okay this document shipping bill and the uh, invoice and packing list will endorsed by the custom okay this do document collect by the uh, ch okay and the ch wait until the shipment move from the sea port so for that what will happen uh, ch keep this document with him and then wait for the bill of lading okay so when shipping line provide bill of lading after shipment sail on the sea okay then he receive the bill of lading so the set of document invoice packing list endorsed by the custom and uh, can say tax invoice and other documents uh, and the shipping bill and uh, also the document of bill of lading so this set of document cha sent to the exporter okay so here uh, the step a is saying document to the importer the set of document which we have prepared and received from the cha we need to prepare this document for the payment okay so this document need to send to import form so for that we need to set of document need to submit in the bank okay as per the uh, time and condition as per the order conditions as per contract whatever document asked in the contract we need to prepare document okay and this document need to submit in the bank so in this way we can uh, do this uh, activity okay so uh, in this session we have tried to understand what are the order uh, export order processing and what are the mainly steps involved in the order processing so guys uh, uh, in this session we have tried to order processing and uh, in next session we will understand the import order uh, receiving and execution Okay so guys we are going to end the session here thanks for watching the session have a nice day